I'm Chris Eliopoulos. I'm the author of Cosmic Commandos. It's the story of identical twin boys who find out that their video game has come to life and they have to work together to defeat it. So we're going to read chapter one of Cosmic Commandos. First, I'm going to put on my reading glasses because I'm old. And we're going to read chapter one, A Stinkish Life. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is my stinkish life. My son Jeremy actually said that at one point in real life. Um, These are my stinkish parents. My mom is super mean, and I think my dad never had fun in his entire life. They don't let me do or have anything. Okay, okay, this is what they really look like. But I still wonder about my gene pool. I admit they really aren't evil, but boy, are they boring. How can you watch cooking shows on TV every night? Ask my wife, we do that. Jeremy, turn that off. It's time for breakfast. This is my whole life. Everyone tells me what to do and I never get to do what I want. Get up, brush your teeth, eat your breakfast, go to school, eat your lunch. Ew, is this vomit mac and cheese? Hand in your tests, do your homework, eat your dinner. Yuck, was this cooked in the garbage? Go to bed. See, always telling me what to do. Now watch what happens when I ask for something, a small, safe, and cool something. Mom, can I have a high-powered laser blasting pellet shooting cosmic commando rifle? Please? No. But mom, why not? All my friends have one. It shoots four different kinds of darts, has a tow line, a grappling hook, and a water squirter. I don't care about your friends. I don't want guns in this house. You could hurt someone. But, but mom, it's a fake gun. It can't hurt anyone. I said no. Fine. Hmm. Then can I have a Cosmic Commander grenade launcher? Jeremy, I have work to do and... Mom, if I don't get it, I'm gonna die. Oh, I highly doubt that. Hmm. (coughs) Gasp, thud. Very convincing. Now go get ready for school and get your brother. See? Nothing. I get nothing. I don't get video games or cool weapons. The only things I seem to get are the things I don't want. Like, say my brother, my twin brother. Identical twin, except I'm normal. This is Justin. He's always doing something to embarrass me. Mm, 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 mm. Scritch scratch. Arg! See? See? What are you doing? Cleaning my room. What? Why are you doing that? I like to have everything put away and clean when I go to school. It calms me down and gets me ready for the day. Then I double check all my homework and make sure my backpack is in order. After that, I take five minutes to meditate and do a positive affirmation like, you will do your best at school today. What? Can't you act like a normal kid? What's that mean? You know, wake up late, barely brush your teeth, Get dressed in a hurry, leave a mess for your parents, and race out the door? But why would I do that when this way I'm prepared for the day? Don't you know the major rule of childhood? Why do now what you can put off until the last moment? That doesn't seem like the best way to get ahead in school, and maybe you should try to organize your life. It might help. I, I, you know what? You're a total freak. Mom says to come for breakfast. Okay. See? See what I mean? A total mega nuclear dorkzilla. The doofus is coming, Mom. Please don't call your brother that. Now eat your breakfast or or you'll be late. Um, what's this? Breakfast. You hate me. Healthy cardboardios, now in rust flavor. Secret toy surprise. Are you sure this is even edible? Can't I just have something, you know, good? Good? Like sugar-frosted chocolate smacks. Hmm. Just try the cereal. It's nutritious. Besides, it has a toy surprise inside. What kind of toy? I don't know. That's why they call it a surprise. Crunch. Well, well, whatever it is, it's got to taste better than the cereal. Scrunch. Mom, I can't find the toy. Keep looking. Nothing. Keep looking. Are you sure it's in here? Yes, dear. Found it. That's nice, dear. But now I have another problem. What's that, dear? I'm stuck. 
Oh, for goodness sake, stop fooling around and eat your breakfast. You're going to be late. Okay. So what was the prize, huh? Oh, yeah, um, rip. What the? A ring? A stupid, lousy decoder ring? That's nice, dear. See? Do you see? Even when I get a prize, it's nothing I want. I could have gotten anything in the world, and I get a useless ring. I mean, hey, what's this? Ugh, even better, the ring comes with a poem. Dream upon this ring, please do. Give it a twist, and it's sure to come true. Enjoy the wish with no regret. Anyone near will soon forget. Hmm. Oh, come on, bunch of nonsense. What's in your hand? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Okay, guys, the bus is here. Time for school. Just don't sit next to me on the bus. Don't sit next to me. Don't sit next to me. Hey! You sat next to me. Why don't you want me sitting next to you? Because. Because I don't want anyone to know I'm related to you. But we're twins. Identical twins. Whatever. Just stop looking like me, okay? Jeremy used to say that all the time, too, to his brother. The real Jeremy. Okay, this is my school, or as I call it, the Fun Prevention Center. Boring. Every day it's the same thing. Miss Droning keeps talking and talking and talking until I totally zone out, and I end up daydreaming about being my favorite video game, Cosmic Commando. To be honest, this is the best part of school. Unfortunately, it never lasts. Jeremy! Huh? You didn't hear a word I said, young man. You better start ring. Sorry, Miss Droning. Recess. Sigh. I don't get paid enough for this. Hi, Jeremy. What are you doing? Want to play? No, I am very busy. You're not doing anything, are you? Sigh. No. God, there's never anything to do. I never get anything I want. I never get to do anything. Just once, I wish something would happen. Pow. What, what was that? A big problem. The biggest bully in school. Cody Smalls. Ha! Nice gadge, dummy. Don't you get short with me, Smalls. What do you say to me? You saying I'm short? You better watch it. No, uh, uh. I am not short, you understand? I'm the biggest kid in school. If I ever catch you calling me short again, I'll... Hey, what's that? You're wearing a ring? How cute. Give it here so I can show everyone what a loser you are. Hey, cut it out. Or give it. Maybe if I just twist it, it'll... Zzzz. What the heck was that? What did you do to me? I... I... I don't know. Er, I don't feel so good. What was that? I have no idea. But uh, I can't get the ring off. Ring. Come on, recess is over. I know, I know. And will you stop looking like me? Well, you sure took care of Cody. Yeah, but I had no clue what I did. I think it was the ring. Uh, I think I know what the ring did to Cody. Whatever it was, I don't think it was any big deal. What kind of ring is that? It's supposed to grant wishes. Cody must have wished to be big. You have to fix this. Someone's going to get hurt. Me? No way. How am I supposed to stop him? Maybe with your new outfit? My what? Gah! Where did this come from? Tell me, you wouldn't freak out if a costume just appeared on you. I know Justin would. I'm freaking out. Is that real? How should I know if it's real? Well, try it out. Click. Whoa! Click, clack. Phew! I was afraid that would... Yeah! Awesome! I'm actually flying! Huh? Ah! Rawr. No, stop! What are you doing? No! Yum, yum, yum. Don't eat me! Don't! If I could just remember the combo to fire. How about you eat lasers instead of me? Zap! Urg. Hey, hit the right combo and the suit fire just like in the video game. Cool! All I have to do is hit the right combos to do special moves. Game on! Rawr. Oh, man. I bigger, better figure out a way to stop Cody before he destroys the whole school. Hmm. Then again, no more school sounds nice. You better save the school. Mom will not be happy if you don't. When is mom ever happy? Sigh. Yeah, okay. Hmm. In the video game, the Cosmic Commando has a shrink ray. What was the combo? Up, down, A, A, B, down. Scroom. Rawr. Maybe it was up, down, A, A, B, up? Swipe. Whoa! Yikes, gotta get away. Gotta get higher. Up, down, A, A, B, A. Swash. 
Boop. Oog, so dizzy. Gonna hurl. Yes, big loss for Smalls. Wow, I saved the school. That's good, right? I guess. This is so nuts. Right when Cody twisted the ring, I was wishing I were a, co a cosmic commando. Hey, the poem was right. I made a wish and the twisted the ring, and now I am a cosmic commando. Yeah, but what will the teacher say? I don't know. Maybe if I wish it away, it might pop. Whoa, that did it. Neat. How's Cody? Mm -hmm. Does Cody look smaller to you? Um, didn't notice. Isn't it weird? No one in the school seems to be freaked out by how huge Cody was. Maybe the wish you made also took away everyone's memory. What are you going to do now? Go to class, genius. Duh. The bell rang. Jeremy, wait a minute. What now? I was just thinking about the ring. I told you I can't take it off. No, no. I was just wondering. You twisted it and it gave you your wish. Yeah, I got that. So why can't you twist it again and get another wish? Blink, blink. I wish I didn't have a brother. Twist, twist, twist. Rats. Guess you only get one wish per person. Guess so. Say, do you think I could? No. And stop looking like me. So that's the first chapter of Cosmic Commandos by me. I hope you go out and try to find the rest of the book and see what happens to Jeremy and Justin. I will let you know these days, Jeremy and Justin, the real Jeremy and Justin, are now both in college, 20 years old. And in fact, the three of us always play video games together. So let's find out what happens later on. So thanks for watching. I'm Chris. I'll see you soon. I'm Chris Eliopoulos. I'm the author of Cosmic Commandos. And in Cosmic Commandos, Jeremy and Justin, at the end, they realize they have to work together to solve a problem. So here's an idea for you. When you're sitting at home tonight, I want you to maybe come up with a story. Tell me a story about a time that you worked with someone else to solve a problem. Because we can always use help. We always need it. And we always seem to do better when we work together. So thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the uh, internet someday, writing stories and telling me how you did it. I'm Chris Iopolis. This is Cosmic Commandos. Hi, I'm Chris Iopolis. I'm the author of Cosmic Commandos, the story of identical twin boys who have to battle a video game come to life. So what we're going to do is uh, the boys are actually named after my sons, Jeremy and Justin. So we're going to draw Jeremy from the book. Our ultimate hero. So, I want you guys to get your paper and pens. Pause the video if you need to go get it. Mom and Dad, help out. Maybe you can draw too. Uh, once you're done pausing, we'll come right back. And we're back. Um, so first thing we're going to do, Cosmic Commandos, two C words. So we're going to start with the letter C. So I want everybody to draw a little C right on the page like that, all right? And if you feel like doing sound effects with this, it's always helpful to kind of make noises while you're drawing. I do it while I'm at home, so let's try it as well. Uh, next up, we're going to do the, a U shape. So we're going to go Okay, and there goes the book. Oh, well, we don't need the book. Um, next up, we're going to draw the top of his hair or the top of his head. So we're going to do this arc shape. We're going to go up and over, down. You've got a little weird shape like that. Okay. Next up, we're going to do like a little bit of hair sticking out over his ear. So we're going to go whoop. A little U shape. All right. Next up, we're going to do like, it's like, like an M shape. We're going to do for his hairline. So we're going to go up and down, up and down. All right. Now we're going to draw that ear on the other side. Whoop. All right, next up, we're going to draw his nose. So his nose is just a backward C right in the middle of his face. Doink, just like that. All right, we're going to give him a couple eyes. Eyes are just like simple dots. So we're just going to draw a couple little dots like that. Now, if you look at the book, you can tell who's who. When they're identical twins, you can't really tell too much like them apart. But in the book... Jeremy's got like a unibrow while Justin's got two eyebrows. So we're going to give Jeremy one big eyebrow. Just like that. All right. Let's give him a big old smile. Boop. All right. Now, in the book, Jeremy's always wearing a little hoodie. So we're going to start giving him a little hoodie. We're going to start with a little V-shape right down under his chin. Go boop, boop. All right. Then we're going to do a little half circle like that. 
Then we're going to draw a line. Then we're going to do another little half circle on the other side. And a line. And then I want you to do a straight line down. And another straight line down. And there's our friend Jeremy. I always sign my name. So if you want, sign your name on your artwork and show the people you love that you learned how to draw Jeremy from Cosmic Commandos. Again, I'm Chris Eliopoulos. I hope you had fun drawing. Keep it up. Do it every day. And someday maybe you'll be drawing your own book. Have a great day.